हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज हर्ष हियर फ्रॉम माय एल्गोमेट टेक्नोलॉजीज टुडे आई विल गाइड यू हाउ टू क्रिएट अ न्यू अमेजॉन ए डब्ल्यू एस अकाउंट ए डब्ल्यू एस अकाउंट यूजली वी क्रिएट टू गेट द क्लाउड मशीन एंड टू रन योर अल्गो और एनी अदर सॉफ्टवेयर ऑन द क्लाउड मशीन द बेनिफिट ऑफ द क्लाउड मशीन इज दैट देर विल बी नो हिंड्रंस ड्यू टू पावर फेलियर इन योर लैपटॉप और कंप्यूटर और एनी ब्रॉडबैंड और इंटरनेट इश्यू सो इन दिस केस मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल आर नाव इट इज यूजिंग क्लाउड मशीन सो टू क्रिएट एन ए डब्ल्यू एस क्लाउड मशीन वी हैव दिस वेबसाइट ए डब्ल्यू एस अमेजॉन डॉट कॉम राइट वंस यू लॉग इन ओवर यू विल गेट दिस काइंड ऑफ पेज यू विल नीड टू क्रिएट एन ए डब्ल्यू एस अकाउंट फ्रॉम हियर Uh, by pressing the button create an aws account on pressing here uh, you will need to enter your email address and some account name uh, email address should be correct and once you verify your email address and all that your account will get successfully created on successful creation you will get the email that uh, your account has been successfully created after that Uh, next step i will guide you how to create the cloud machine uh, from the account you have created now while creating an account uh, amazon will ask you for a credit card and debit card details it will deduct some 1 or 2 rupees uh, it is for the verification of the user that the no fraudulent activity or no fake user is there uh, if amazon is giving you free cloud machine it will verify all the things now we will sign up sign in to the already existing account of aws so here we are on the sign in page i will enter my email address and password over here it will ask for the captcha now once you are logged in uh, make sure you select the correct region over here so for uh, india you will need to select mumbai uh, to have the best execution as we will need the local region of our country we will be creating cloud machine in the mumbai region so after you logged in make sure you have selected the mumbai as the region after that there are two options you can press over service over here or other way is like you can press here launch virtual machine with ec2 you can click over here on click it will ask you to choose an amazon machine we will select free tier machine and we will type windows over here as we need a windows cloud machine and we'll just press enter we can select any of the free tier eligible machine but we will select the uh, latest one which is microsoft windows server 2019 edition we'll select over here we'll select t2 micro free tier eligible instance over here we'll press review and launch and after that you can again press the launch now this step is very important to understand this is a security feature provided by aws so you will need to first make a key pair for example i am creating a key pair as this name and i will download the key pair i will download in my folder and i will save it after the key pair is successfully download this file is known as the pem file pem file this file need to be saved at a secured place because further this file will be used to get the first time password to connect your cloud machine i will brief you ahead uh, where this file will be used for the first time 
and I will press the launch instance. It will show as your instance are now launching and to view the already created EC2 instance you can either click over here or you can go to the main page. Now I will go to EC2 and it will show one instance is created and is running. Now I will press over here instances and will clear all the filters. The instance which we have created is successfully created over here. Now to connect this cloud machine we will need to select here go to connect button and go to RDP client. Now we will be able to download the remote desktop file from here. I will save it over here and I have three details over here. One is the public DNS or the IP address of the cloud machine. One is username and third is the password. With the help of these three details, I will be able to connect to this cloud machine. So to copy this detail, you can press over here copy button and it will get copied. Similarly with the username and similarly with the password. Now to get the password which I told before few minutes. It will ask you to upload the file but you will uh, need to wait at least for 4 minutes after the instance is successfully launched. So let us wait for 4 minutes and we will try again after few seconds. So let's try again. I am refreshing the instance state. You can refresh the and get the uh, latest status of your instance by pressing refresh button over here. I will select this instance and press connect button. I will again go to RDP client and we will press on get password. Now it is asking me to upload the file which we have saved with the name. Now I will press the browse button over here and the file which I have downloaded and I will need to press the decrypt password. With the help of this I will get all the three details. One is the public DNS or the IP address of the cloud machine, username and password. So make sure you save all these three details and keep it with you in one notepad file. For now I will save it in one notepad file like this way. Press this button copy and paste paste this username paste copy the password and save now to connect remote desktop we have already downloaded the remote desktop file I will again show you how I downloaded I will press the save button over here after pressing the save button you can go to the file this file is called RDP file to connect your remote desktop. Now I will double click on this file. I will press the connect button. It will ask me for the password. User administrator is already selected. I will copy the password which I have saved it from the AWS. I have already saved in a notepad file or I can get it from this page also. I will copy this and I will paste it over here. You can select the remember me option so that every time you don't need to enter this password again and again. You can just select don't ask me again and press yes. Within a few seconds your cloud machine will get ready. We will just wait for a few seconds so that windows completes its own setup steps. So we have this screen which is of cloud machine and 
uh, in the background we have our own computer you can minimize this or you can open this right now make sure after creating the cloud machine you change the time zone by default in the windows machine we get utc time zone so we are in the india and we will need to set time zone as 5:30 chennai kolkata mumbai delhi this one so that's all for the cloud creation activity uh in case you still have any doubt or any issue uh, you can reach us uh, we'll keep our mobile number and email address along with this video i hope this video is helpful to you thank you